am honored to join so many from all over the country and around the world to celebrate the life and times of an outstanding pioneer educationist and a committed public servant, the late Chief Sir Arthur Okorian Okoa, a man who devoted his entire life to public service, to his community, and to the church. The story of educational develop development in many communities in Delta and Edo states cannot be told without the extensive, without the contributions of uh, the late Chief Okoa. Indeed, there are entire communities that owe the level of their educational development to the labors of this great educationist. But Paul Okoa was also devoted to progressive of Nigeria in Ika and Anyoma areas under the leadership of the late Chief Oba Femi Awilo. When he returned from the University of Wales, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in education, he rejoined the Bengal State Civil Service, where he served very fittingly as a teacher of principles and practice of education at the Teachers' Training College in Munichaolon. Subsequently, he helped to found the Owa Oyibu Teachers' Training College, where he retired as principal special grade in 1984. We have been told already that the late Sir Arthur Goa was a devout Christian of the Anglican faith. Today, as we celebrate the exceptional life of this great son and leader of the traditional kingdom in his hometown of Owa Leru, we are reminded of the scripture in Proverbs 13 verse 22. Proverbs 13 verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. I think it is obvious that the inheritance that a good man leaves cannot be houses, money, or other forms of material wealth. In any event, there is no guarantee that material wealth can last generations. It must be something more enduring. Ultimately, it is a legacy. A legacy of faith, of character, and selfless service to God and man. It is only such an inheritance, such a legacy, that influences the trajectory of the lives of children and grandchildren, and indeed whole communities and nations. There is no doubt that Pa Okoa has left an inheritance for his children's children, and for his community, for his state, and for his nation. That he took education and discipline so seriously that he made it his life work. That he saw public service as a calling and politics as an important component of service to one's community and to one's people. The nation and the state has benefited and still benefits because of the decisions that he made for, by the services of a well bred and disciplined leadership of Senator Okoa, His Excellency Governor of Delta State today, first as a local government chairman, then as a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, because of the decisions that he made for, by the services of a well-bred and disciplined leadership of Senator Okoa, His Excellency Governor of Delta State today, first as a local government chairman, then as a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and now as Governor of Delta State. A father's faithfulness to the education of his own and others, his example of public service with integrity, and his commitment to his faith has given an inheritance that has endured and will, by God's grace, continue to endure. This community, this state, this nation has been blessed by the life of this unassuming teacher of Mawa Alero. And as we condole with his family, and we pray that the Lord God Almighty will comfort you. We pray also that the memory and his legacy will remain forever blessed.
in Jesus' mighty name.